What is up, everybody? Tragic here. Today, we are going to go into the Guard Breaker unblockable combos using Scorpion and Sub-Zero with Rain. There are two different ones with Rain, so let's show you what they look like. All right, the first one I would say the timing is a little bit easier for. That's the setup for the first one. Now, let's look into the second one. This one's a little bit harder. Oh, see, I missed it right there. One more. That's the second one. Okay, so practicing this, we're going to start from the upflow, right, into the drown floor. And the hardest part of learning this combo is when to send out Scorpion from the drown floor, right? And I typically do it so you you don't want to be button mashing. You want to only be inputting what you need to do. No button mash, right? So we're going to do the upflow and put in the entire drown floor combo. And then after the second hit, you finish calling your up, scam uh, up Scorpion cameo. So after that second hit, that's when you want to do it. So all together, second hit, call it, and then get Scorpion to come through. Another tip that I would say that helps is to, when you're doing the drown pour aerial combo, make sure you take your thumb off of like forward and back, right? Like once you start inputting the aerial combo, just take your fingers off of your D-pad or the other buttons on your hitbox, whatever you're using. So that way, when you go to input the up scorpion, that there is no miss input. So you do your up flow, start your combo, take your fingers off so that when you do the up input into the scorpion, it goes through. So as soon as you get them in the air and you jump, you can stop pressing things on your d-pad i noticed that was a mistake i was making when i'd be doing my aerial combo i would like be holding forward and it would like mess my input up on the scorpion so the moment you get them in the air and you jump forward take your finger off the d-pad while you're doing your aerial combo so that way you don't miss input the scorpion cameo so like that the next part is going to be the close ancient trap so practice the close one if you're not used to it and the tip that I would suggest is to input the Ancient Trap as you're falling. You can actually input it in the air, and it will it will start to do the special the moment you land. So, I, I already put it in before I hit the ground right there, as you can see. All right, let's try it again. Do my combo, call Scorpion, and Ancient Trap is already inputted before I hit the ground. The moment you land, he should be summoning the Ancient Trap. Now, I would say the double overhead after the Ancient Trap is the best, but you can use other combos to uh, break their armor. But I do think the double overhead is the best way to do it. So let's see what it all looks like together. Call Scorpion, input my Ancient Trap, and then double overhead. All right, the next option is to use the aerial combo Water Dragon. And everything is almost the same. We're going to input the entire combo, and then we're going to call Scorpion on what looks like the second hit in the air. Oh, my bad. All right. And remember, when you do the Ancient Trap, input it in the air. Now, let's see what that looks like. Remember, piecing it all together, we get them in the air. Take your thumb off the D-pad once you start your aerial combo. Input the whole combo and call Scorpion on the second hit. And input Ancient Trap close while you're falling. Boom. And that's what everything looks like. If you want to, you could go back and like pause the video and look at certain parts to really get the timing down if you're still having trouble. Okay, so there are two options for the Sub-Zero Freeze, right? We can start with the easier one first. I would say the easier way to do this one is probably because it doesn't push the character as far away. is just going to be your 1-1 one, one cancel into the upflow. Now, for me, I had to study the timing of the aerial combo a little bit, and I think doing the combo with like having them at their highest point in the air like right there that way i have them really high and i'm gonna land on the ground first because if you try it when they're kind of lower sometimes you can you can miss like that right there so typically what you want to look at is when you get them in the air try to have them at their highest point and you'll normally hit it so the next part after you land the freeze is to practice your projectiles. Do a full charge and then do a close projectile. If you're misinputting those, just practice it on the ground until you get it 100%. All right. Now, the second starter is the forward to one. 
and it's going to be almost the same thing. Like, you're going to want to have them as high as you can in the air. At first, if you're missing the freeze, just practice spamming it as you're falling until you get it, until you get it right. This one should land. And then full combo into the double overhead. Now, that is going to be both ways to do it. So the best way to practice these, even with the Scorpion and Sub-Zero, is to go into opponent type, do a playback recording, or not a playback recording, I'm sorry, do a get up mode on and not a random attack. We want to do an enhanced geyser. So that way, this is going to simulate your opponent doing a wake up attack off of the ground. Um, let's see what that looks like, all right? Whoops, my bad. And they're going to do an attack, and we broke it. Let's try it one more time. Boom. That is how you should be practicing it with the Sub-Zero and the Scorpion. Guys, I'm Tragic. I really hope you liked the video, and it helped you guys start to land these combos. If you're still having trouble, comment down what it is below, and maybe we can figure something else out to help you guys out. If you haven't watched my ranked tutorials, check those out. Um, I'm going to be uploading another video of me doing every rank from Warrior because uh, I got up to Champion. So I will have a Warrior to Champion video coming out. And I'm going to keep doing that for each rank. But I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys again. Peace.